Welcome to Make It With Miss Mandy. Today we're going to be putting together this paper craft three-dimensional carousel. This was one of the first 3D projects I ever designed and while it was really hard for me at the time to get the dimensions quite right, it's actually not terribly difficult to put together. So all you're going to need are the standard supplies, paper, um, hot glue, a cutting machine, a bone folder if you'd like, and for this one you'll also need some lollipop sticks. Um, these are six inches long and you'll need eight of them for your carousel. Other than that, you can just head on over to my website, designsbymissmandy.com, and download the free template. And after that, you can get started. I finished cutting out all of my pieces and I have a little bit of a disclaimer first before we get started. Obviously I'm using different colors than I showed previously. Um, that's because I want to make kind of a spooky carousel. I've seen a couple people do this before on Instagram with my file and I think it's super cool. Another thing is that um, I am going to be using um, not horses. <laughs> So I'm actually going to be making dragons. I shared these dragons along with some other alternate animals in a recent blog post. And if you would like to use these, um, there's also dolphins and seahorses and let's see what else, like giraffes and things like that. So anyway, I'm gonna be using the dragons just for this one. Um, obviously you're still welcome to use the horses. All right, so let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is build our base. So I'm gonna set aside most of my pieces right now including all of my dragon pieces okay and these are the only pieces that you need to make the base are these two strips and then this piece right here all right the first thing i'm going to do is just connect these two strips you can see where the tab is right here i'm just going to layer these together with those connected, I'm just going to fold along each of the score lines and then connect it on the end with this tab. All right, so I've got my octagon shape and now I just need to attach the other base piece. Um, all I need to do for this one is fold along each of these score lines and then this is just going to slide right on top. My carousel base is finished and now there's just one more thing I'm going to do before I set it aside. Um, I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife real quick and just widen these slits. Um, this is where our column is going to go in just a little bit. And I like to do this just to make it a little bit easier to um, slip the tabs inside. Okay. All right, I'll set that aside and let's work on our column piece. Um, the only thing we really need to do for this one is attach, um, in this case, this green piece over the top. And then we're gonna fold along all of the score lines and um, glue this tab to the inside over here. Um, I'm actually going to pre-fold these two before I attach them just to help um, make sure that we have a nice crease. Now our column piece is put together and all we need to do is attach it to the base. With these pieces complete, we are going to now set them aside and work on our top tent base piece. So for this, you will just need um, this other um, octagonal piece along with um, these side pieces that are going to wrap around the edge. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to um, fold along all these score lines and then attach these little tabs um, to the end here, I'll show you. So you're gonna fold these up 
and then attach these tabs to the inside and just make a little octagon piece. All right, with that done, the next thing to do is just to take these pieces and I'm going to um, attach these embellishment pieces to the top edge and then fold along all of these little score lines. I almost forgot, these oval pieces also go on here and these just attach like this. Now that these are done, I just need to attach them along the edge of my tent base piece. Um, I'm just going to try to keep these like as centered as possible as I go around. What I mean by that is like the center this way. And just glue them each along the edge. And then when I finish this one, I'll grab this one and do the same thing. With this piece finished, we're ready to attach it to um, the center post of our carousel. Um, but first I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time and just kind of widen these slats to try to slip those tabs in a little easier. All right, so with everything attached, we are ready to start putting our sucker sticks in. So these holes are designed to be like just barely big enough to fit one of these. And so um, you might need to kind of wiggle and, and muscle it in. And then line it up with the ones on the bottom. And just very carefully twist and kind of work your way in. Okay. Once that's in, um, you can just use some hot glue or a lot of hot glue in my case to just kind of create um, a barrier to try to keep it in place. So just do that on the top and bottom side um, with each of your sucker sticks and work your way all the way around. I have finished putting all of my sucker sticks in and we are getting pretty close to being done. The next thing we're gonna do is make the tent portion. So this is pretty simple. It's just this piece and then these triangle overlays. And you just um, glue these on at intervals. And then we are just going to fold the whole thing up along each of the score lines and glue this tab on the inside. Now that that's pieced together, I'm just going to make a little flag. So I have this flag piece here and I'm just going to take um, another one of my sucker sticks and I'm going to wrap it around. Then I'll glue these pieces together and this is going to fit um, right in the top here. There's a little hole, it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'll trim my sucker stick down so that it doesn't stick up too high. The tent is finished and now we just need to glue it to the top of our carousel. Now the only thing missing are the horses, or in my case, the dragons. <laughs> so I'm just going to gather all of my pieces and kind of sort them out.
All right, everything is sorted out and I'm ready to get started. And um, if you don't want to have to glue all of these tiny pieces onto your horses or dragons or whatever animal you're using, I totally understand. Um, you can just go ahead and paint them or draw on them or however you want to do it. So I'm just going to get going on this and start putting them together one by one. My dragons are done. Aren't they cute? Okay, so now I'm just going to go around and glue them all onto my carousel. I'm going to glue the bigger ones on the front and then the smaller ones behind. Thanks for following along. I hope you had fun making either a normal or a spooky carousel, and I look forward to crafting with you again soon.